Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have the wonderful World of Disney's Magical Holiday Celebration. Uh, this is actually Christmas this time, obviously, as compared to yesterday's Home Alone 3. Um, this is uh, all musical uh, performances that have happened at the various uh, theme parks. Well, not all of the theme parks. It's really just Magic Kingdom in Florida and Disneyland here in California. Um, from previous years. Uh, this is very much a 2020 production. Uh, the only brand new performance that we get is the opening number with Derek and Julianne Hough. How? They, it looks like how? Ho? Um, but it's Huff. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that pair, which I only figured out halfway through that they're brother and sister, but hey, uh, and they could have been husband and wife. They, they're they both incredibly attractive, and I, I guess genetically that works. So, yeah, they're brother and sister. sister. Uh, they are hosting from Disneyland, and Trevor Jackson is hosting from the Magic Kingdom. And obviously this is all pre-taped months, probably months ago. Uh, but Disneyland obviously has been closed since March 2020. March 13th. I have not been back there since, like, the third, I think? It's been a while. Um, but anyway, uh, the only real performance that's brand new to this is the opening number with the Huffs. Oh. <laughs> and they dance on Main Street uh, in front of the shops, along the streets. Julianne's even in roller skates at one point. Uh, it's, I guess, from Dancing with the Stars. I don't watch the, that, so I... They're one of the dancing competition show stars, I guess, and they're amazing. And they're, they just, they tear it up, let's just say. And I, if nothing else, it made me just miss being able to walk those streets. I really miss it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, what they do get uh, after they do their little dance song and dance, um, they stand over by where the Christmas tree usually is. And uh, they introduce each of the numbers. They, uh, that, them and Trevor, they go back and forth. But uh, a lot of the, a lot of the footage comes from uh, Disney World, and they pepper it in. They pepper in um, castle lighting ceremonies from the parks all over the world, including Shanghai, Hong Kong, Paris, and uh, of course both Florida and California. So, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of mag magical to see that happen uh it's a kind of the, the way to kick off the holiday season at each of the parks and uh strangely enough can you feel the love tonight is what is played it's not a, not a christmas song not a traditional princess song it's can you feel the love tonight from the lion king right yeah i'm it, i'm uh, that's what they play in various each language that's representative of each castle uh, location. They uh, they play that while the castle's being lit up, and it's kind of kind of gorgeous. So if you're gonna watch it for anything, watch it for that opening dance number. Watch it for the candle lighting. Uh, if you're into the music, I'm not really. I'm, I'm an old man. But uh, Andrea Bocelli is probably one of the older artists. Uh, he sings uh, Dreaming of a White Christmas, which seems considering his range really beneath him. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> you get a number of uh, popular acts from 2016, 17, 18, 19, and you even get Adina Menzel and Kristen Bell from Frozen, Anna, Elsa and Anna, and they sing a song from Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Not from, not from either of the movies. But from one of the shorts, um, yeah. So if, uh, if if you need some holiday background music to play, they all sing traditional Christmas songs in big show-stopping numbers, various different styles of music uh, from R and B and soul and, and uh, pop, Kelly Clarkson, Pentatonix, Shaggy, uh, Boys to Men with JoJo. Uh, there's so many I'm old and I don't know any of these people <laughs> well I know some of them but I don't know all of them um, 
but yeah, they're performing at each of the major parts. Animal Kingdom and Epcot and, and Magic Kingdom in front of the castle and Disneyland in front of the castle. So yeah, there, it's, it's all over the place. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a neat uh, show, lights and fireworks and everything else, even if you're not into the music. But, you know, if you have, if you're needing for something to put on in the background and just feel that love of the Disney parks, you want to go back there. This is one of the closest things you can do to get back to that during the holiday season. So give it a shot. Um, yeah, it'll, it might make you miss it even more, but it also might soothe that uh, urge you have, the sadness you feel for not getting back there. I know a lot of people's plans have been canceled throughout this entire year, especially around the holidays. So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, there's also um, charity. Uh, they they uh, focus on some people who've done uh, some work to to feed uh, families in Delaware in their in their hometown and it grew from something really small to something huge and you see a family you get to see a family that uh, has reached out to their community and really built things up and uh, there's also a, a request if you want to help people who are in need during the holiday uh, feedamerica.org is the uh, is the site uh, that they promote on there and uh, yeah it's a good cause so, all right, uh, tomorrow, gosh, what did I say I'm going to do? Oh, tomorrow is Santa's, what you call it? <laughs> Sorry, Santa's Workshop. We're going to do a short. Uh, Santa's Workshop, it's like seven, eight minutes long, something like that. So it's a little animated bit from the olden days. So we'll just check that out. That'll be a quick little one. So see you back here tomorrow with Santa's Workshop on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. See you then. Bye.